Hey YouTube, this is Goddess Lily. I have a lace front wig that has a 4x4 four four inch closure attached to show you and this wig belongs to Lori. Now Lori, me and you, we're friends on Facebook and we've been going back and forth with this wig for probably maybe, I don't know, I've been, it's taken me three weeks to complete it but I think we were communicating I think since November but anyway um, just to get started I'm starting with the uh, inside first because I want to show you the construction so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom it up so you can get a look a good look yeah. and I'm gonna actually keep it zoomed in for a while so um, So you can get a good idea of the foundation and we have the combs. The combs are actually sewn in the foundation. It's actually hand sewn around the edge just in case you want to take the stitches out and remove the combs and you can just, it well, it's machine sewn around the edge but it's hand sewn around here so you have a lot of combs big combs towards the back so the combs are all around you can see the machine machine sewn stitching and here is the elastic this is the safety elastic net to draw it in tightly as you need it and this is your catch this is the hook right here so you can actually move this hook, take it off and move it farther out if you need to, or, you know, you can just not use it and just keep the elastic stuck down in there. Anyway, um, your diameter was 22.5, so because of the lace, it came out to 23 so not that bad it's just a half an inch and trust me it's not even going to make that much of a difference but you do have that elastic okay so let's talk about the closure now i have good news and i have bad news so i'm going to keep this zoom up so you can get an idea of what i'm talking about i'm just going to do a camera check right quick and see how it's focused let me just focus it out, zoom it out a little bit. So, I am not pleased with how this closure turned out. I know that I made a video for you, and I had just finished ventilating the closure, and the closure was still, you know, on the wig block, and I was excited. But once I took it off and I started sealing it and I went to trim the mustaches, I realized that it was not laying even. So if you can tell, this side is laying flat. And let me put it forward if I can. This side is laying flat and this side is puffy. So let me zoom it up so you can see. So this side is puffy. Now I ventilated all going forward. Now I have to say that I have never made a forward facing closure before ever. Now I've, I am two years into ventilating now where I've been making wigs for myself for probably, you know, sheesh, since I could remember, you know, way back when we were sewing tracks up here and stacking it. But since I started ventilating, I've only been ventilating, um, going back, straight back, that allows you to have free parting. So this ventilating for it, was the first, my first time ventilating for it. I was so confident because I actually had called my mentor. My mentor is, is A. Marie of A. Marie Lace Wigs. I'm sure a lot of you know her. And I talked to her and she gave me some tips and I was just so confident in going, when I went into ventilating that, um, 
I actually, you know, felt that I could do it, although I had never made one before. So I'm going to even film it up closer. Let's see. And I'm, I'm coming in close because I want my mentor, A. Marie, to take a look at it. And, you know, I talked to you about it. And you gave me some tips and pointers, but I just still cannot make it work. And I know that this has a lot to do with, because I'm left-handed, I probably should have been turning the needle a different way, but because I, I had never practiced on ventilating forward, it just didn't come out that way. So this is always, this, this is, I've tried wetting it and laying it, drying it inside out, laying flat. It's just going to puff because it wants to go this way. I was for, ven, ventilating forward down, you know, in an angle, but somehow this, it just keeps wanting to go this way. It, it just keeps wanting to go. It all wants to go to one side. And then another thing I'm not happy with, I trimmed the returns, and because this all wants to go to one side, my returns are popping up, and I, I just really don't like that. So all in all, I think that this wig is unacceptable to send to you, Lori, and I'm, I'm really apologizing for this because it's my mistake. And I don't want to send you a wig that you are going to have to work with. You know, you're going to have to keep wetting to try to get it to flow the way you want it. So, I talked to A. Marie, and she and I, I'm just going to turn it this way because I want to get in the camera. I'm not sure how I can do this. Let's see if I'm in the camera. So she and I, the sun's glaring in my face. Hold on. She and I have came to a solution and she is going to make a closure for me, a forward facing closure to go on this wig for you. And I'm gonna overnight her the hair. I already have some Indian hair. So what I wanna tell you first is that I am totally paying for this closure. She is my mentor and a good friend, so she's giving me a good rate. So I'm paying for the closure, and I'm overnighting it to her. So I just want to show you the hair. It's Indian hair. I have four packs of this hair because I actually was going to make me a wig. So I'm going to have, she's going to make this for me. I'm going to show you the hair. It's really pretty soft hair and it's just gonna go blend right beautifully with this hair that's already on your wig and if you can tell the brown in the hair what I did was I layered it black brown black brown black brown until I you know ran out of brown so you're gonna have that you know that pretty sort of like ombre effect, but as you can see, the brown is in there, and I totally used all your hair. So even though you think that, you know, the front looks okay, honestly, it's not okay. It's not okay, it's not acceptable for me to send out. It's not my best work, and you know, it's something that I should have made for myself first. But I just wanted you to see the hair. Now this is actually going to cause us a little longer delay because she's in Minnesota, I'm in California. I already have the template. Let's see, am I on camera? Yeah, this is the new template of the closure that I've outlined for her. It has the, you know, I always outline mine with pink thread. So I'm going to overnight her this so she'll get this tomorrow and she's going to work me in her schedule. And I'm very appreciative for that. Very super appreciative. But for you, because we have another delay, 
you owe you have one more final payment and you know what that is I am going to forgo that final payment I'm gonna let you keep that final payment as you know a gift from me for this extra stress that I've caused you and all I'm gonna ask is that you you know pay the shipping fee which I estimated you're in France and I have shipped something to Amsterdam um, airmail insured and it was $35 so you know Amsterdam and France is pretty close I think <laughs> so um, it's gonna be I wanted to just turn this inside out so you can see that it's gonna be really easy for me to just you know take this closure off and pop the new closure in am I even on camera I can't see okay so it's just gonna be really easy for me once she she sends it back to just go ahead and take this off and pop the new one on I mean I'm used to doing mines all the time so and um, then we'll get it off in the mail to you and you'll have it but I think that in the long run um, you will appreciate that I care so much about you know my hobby that I'm just not gonna send you something that I'm not comfortable with that I feel that you have to work with in other words I wouldn't send you something that you know I wouldn't wear myself although I probably would wear it because you know I'm at home every day and I really don't you know I just go run errands and I go to the gym I mean I probably would turn this into you know a gym wig because I have a wig that's I cut short it's my gym workout wig you know or power walking wherever I do that it's my exercise wig and I would probably just call this a loss you know and and turn it into a wig which you know once I take this closure off who knows I'm I'm gonna keep it I mean it's you know, it's nothing wrong with it. Well, it's a lot wrong with it. But it's, I, I wouldn't send it to you like this. I, I just see how if you wanted to do a center part, you know, you can part it. But this part, it just, it just doesn't, you know, it's just not going to really lay that nice. It's going to always wanting to flip back over. So I'm basically, you know, I ventilated forward. My left hand made it go all in one direction. And, um, you know, it would be fine for me, but, you know, if I'm sending this out to someone that's trusting my work and paying for it, and, you know, they want to be able to wear, you know, you might want to be able, you might want to rock a center part and, you know, split it to go over both eyes and you won't be able to. So that's like a loss, you know, a, a big disappointment. I definitely can't have that on my conscience. So anyway, you watch the video and you can contact me and, you know, fuss. <laughs> and, but I'm gonna get on the video and I'm gonna just tell you I am just extremely sorry of how this all turned out, but in the end, when you get your wig in the in the well in the mail, it will be a fabulous wig. You'll be able to rock it and just have a great time wearing it. Okay, so thank you for watching.